G'day Queenslanders, welcome to an OCC Queensland weather app today, the 26th of December 2022. My name's Chris Nitzo, this update brought to you by our major sponsor Townsville Sheds and Garages. Check them out at townsvillesheds.com if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Alright, we've got a lot of shower activity off the North Queensland coastline which is coming into the North Queensland coastline. We've got a lot of light patchy rain across the southern, central and northern interior. We've got lots of heavy showers and thunderstorms across the northeastern parts of the Cape York Peninsula and we've got ex-tropical cyclone Ellie on the eastern parts of the Northern Territory extending quite a bit of rain into western Queensland. Also of note, you know, some isolated showers around central Queensland and southeast Queensland's coastlines and adjacent hinterland areas. Rainfall totals till 9 o'clock this morning from 9 o'clock yesterday morning, thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, quite a few showers across the southeast, just in the hinterland areas. Uh, potential maximum fall there uh, of 50 odd millimetres. Uh, also, quite an enhancement of showers across the central coast with Sundays district, around the Burdekin region, and some very heavy shower activity across the northeast Queensland coast over the past 24 hours. We also saw some very heavy rain laden thunderstorm activity across the northern interior and the far northern interior. And this morning, we've seen some uh, big rain totals across that that northeastern Cape region with those showers and thunderstorms becoming fairly widespread in that area. Today we're going to see these showers off the North Queensland coastline make it onto the coastline. We're going to see widespread showers and thunderstorms across the Cape York Peninsula region. We're going to see also quite a few showers and thunderstorms across the interior regions of Queensland as well. On your screen there you can see a better example of what I'm talking about. As we progress through the afternoon into the evening hours you can see those storms start to peter out and become a little bit more isolated. Widespread shower activity particularly over the eastern parts of Cape York Peninsula and some isolated storm activity continuing into the western Cape and through parts of northern inland. And Queensland. You can see most of the heavy rain associated with tropical, ex-tropical cyclone Ellie located in the Northern Territory side of the NT Queensland border, but there is a little bit pushing over to the Queensland side. Uh, there is potential for some very heavy rainfall with thunderstorm activity to date and overnight tonight, as well as the potential for heavy localised falls with showers across the northeast Queensland region. Looking at our rainfall uh, prospects between now and when we talk tomorrow morning, we can see where the heaviest falls are expected. Northeastern parts of the Cape, potentially northeast Queensland. Most of the really heavy stuff is offshore, but some of it will be coming onto the coastline. You can see a few showers down around the Mackay with Sundays area, a few showers around the eastern seaboard and adjacent uh, ranges of uh, the southern and central eastern parts of the state. Notice there's a little bit of isolated uh, nuisance activity going on through the southern and central interior. Not much rain with any of that. Uh, and some better storm activity out towards Mount Isa and through western Queensland. Got a weak circulation in operation up through the northern parts of the Coral Sea, and that's what's enhancing the shower activity right now onto the northeastern Cape coastline. We'll keep an eye on circulations over the next week or so. There's a one developing in the Gulf. There's another couple in the Coral Sea over the next few days, uh, and we'll be watching each one of those like a hawk, especially because the monsoon's going to come into Queensland on Thursday in the far north, and that could enhance the rotational aspect of one of these cells, and we could uh, one of these lows, and we could actually start to see one develop uh, potentially into quite a strong monsoon or maybe even a tropical cyclone over the next week to 10 days. So we'll keep an eye on that and let you know how things are going. We've also got a subscription service at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au where we're already into in-depth discussions about the potential for tropical low and tropical cyclone development along the monsoon trough as we progress into this weekend or early next week. Head over there if you'd like to have a look at our subscription options and thanks very much for your support. Thanks for watching this video. We'll talk again in the morning.